Okay, so today we're trying to fix the problem we found yesterday with when we were spawning our player one character. Let's go ahead and see that again. Well, um, do you see how it kind of like glitches out there by the time it gets to the top? It does a weird little shift thing. Trying to fix that. First and foremost, hopefully we can fix that and then choose something like important to fix, but I don't get why it's doing that. I have a hunch that it is because we're doing two different viewports. Um, actually, yeah, see how if we're, if we're spawning and not exploded yet, we're drawing our ostrich spawn viewport, but if we're not spawning, we're drawing our ostrich sprite. So I think in that transition period is where we're seeing that bug, and it has to do with something about switching viewports on an item that is the same like remaining the same so i'm thinking we can just get rid of one of these like i'm thinking we just if we turn this back to ostrich sprite because it's the same viewport right it's just I don't know. I don't know. If we're drawing it at Ostrich Sprite, then we need to go see when we do... See, look, this is all the Ostrich Sprite logic, right? Okay. Um... Bro, bro. Okay, well, where do we use our ostrich spawn viewport? Right there. Instead of doing this, I'm going to turn this off now, and let me just see if that fixes our problem or doesn't do anything. So I think the ostrich sprite here might just be doing the wrong viewport for frame one and everything, like... Actually, no, I'm adding the one right here. Yeah, and it's... Okay, so maybe I'm not. Then why does it mess up? <laughs> why does it mess up? Okay, we need our... We need our ostrich spawn viewport, because that's what we're doing to scale the animation which we're doing where are we even doing would that be in the play state yeah where are we even doing that um i guess what i'm trying to say is if we turn this back on do we get the proper spawn animation Did that, did that work? It still kind of bugs out, does it not? It just bugs out. I feel like it is in, in that transition between spawning and not spawning, right?
um, arty party that was last night. Which I'm gonna blame is why I didn't program yesterday. I was just too tired, you know, by the time I got home. Very tired. But it was a lot of fun. Met some cool people. Oh, that's really good. So remember, yesterday we were able to not get that bug, but I'm forgetting how we were able to do that. Wow, that's really good. The carbonation's like perfect on that. Um, so I have a question. It might still be that we're switching these viewports. It shouldn't be the case though. I want to see if in our ostrich spawn viewport logic, we're not even doing anything different. So why, why can't we just turn this off and only reference? Yeah, turn this off. And only reference the ostrich sprite. I guess I'm conf oops, I'm confused where we use the or where we factor in the uh, the growing code for when they're growing. You know when they're spawning out of the platform. I'm like confused where that is now. It's right here. It's the spawn height. Okay, I'm so confused. Why does it do that? Now it doesn't change our spawn height. No, no it doesn't. Set viewport. This is where it is. We were setting our viewport to our spawn height here. But instead of ostrich spawn, let's do our ostrich sprite. Oh! That didn't look like it... That didn't look like it messed up. I'm happy with that. And, it's, and we're able to walk. Okay, cool. Okay, the vultures are still jumping at the same time. We need to add our collision on vulture when we win. That would trigger not only an explosion, well, one frame of an explosion, but the egg to spawn. The explosion, frame one of the explosion can actually probably be in the egg animation for that. But we need to figure out why they're buggy while they're like, they're walking in the ground. You know, they're, they're walking all funny. <laughs> That's great. That's really great. Okay. So we fixed the one thing. I think we fixed that. But we need to not spawn in the neutral spot, but spawn at a platform portal spot. I think the thing that's messing me up right now the most is that our vultures kind of walk through the ground at some point and do a weird jumping, weird bouncing thing that they shouldn't really be doing. So part of me wants to fix that. That's going to be a little tough. See, look, we have the same thing where we have two different viewports. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, what do we even do? Do we try to get one... 
we tried to get rid we took off this spawn viewport and we just went with sprite so let's look at every point we reference this and see if we can switch it to a sprite without messing anything up so this means we're just setting it if we're spawning which is totally legit we can do that so yeah that's it so let's just reference vulture sprite here vulture sprite set viewport Also going to render not the spawn viewport but the vulture sprite in both instances depending if we want to change the spawning direction of any of these which I haven't looked at the game close enough to know if they do that but let's see if that that wouldn't really change anything that would just hopefully it works when we take that out hopefully their logic wasn't dependent on that way of doing things Okay. Yeah, they're still a little wonky. Because, like, for instance, look at the... If you look at this top one... Yeah. If you look at this... Um, oh, that's sick. I do have R setting us to a portal up here. And then V setting the vultures out. But look, look at this guy. And he walks this way. And then straight above the platform. So it's like, we might not even be checking for side collidable platforms. Um, no, we, oh yeah, we're not, uh, wait here. Okay, yeah, this is what this would what would trigger if we walk into the platforms. God dang. Okay. So yeah, we're going through all the climbable platforms. So this is. If we look at our play state, we see that our collidable platforms are a table of different platform instantiations that we make up here. So that's what platform collidable platforms is. Then in our vulture update function, here's our vulture update function. We're cycling through every platform in that list and checking for collision. And the thing is, I don't think we do this. Actually, let me see. Yeah, we do have a left collides. Um, okay, so. this buffer over to is the kind of inset for the platform hitbox collision detection I guess you want to call it god damn god damn it's hard to say where it would be messing up like it should be detecting a collision with that platform that top left one when it walks there yeah it should be detecting a, a collision which it isn't and it isn't actually it may be detecting it it just if self left collides, collided is true. We don't really do anything other than take our DX and set it. See, we need to do more than that. We need to do more than that. 
I think instead of a see now we need a little do we take off that buffer zone for the vultures or do we leave it can leave this but it's not you know we need um oh here we go okay no yeah we do okay so maybe we put the self dx adjustment here under the just collide so we can't set our dx more than once you know if we collide two frames in a row for example and then this one is saying if right collides, if our dx is greater than zero, our dx gets negative. So if we right collide, that's bouncing off a wall. I don't know. I don't know what's different about that one. Um, I, I really don't know. I'm looking for this top left vulture to collide properly with that platform. Because look, when we go, when we are up here, and we're walking, we hit it and go right, right away. So, if we look at the difference, we don't have, no, no, yeah, we do. We have a left collides and a right collides. So, it's really the same Same logic, except this just collided timer, right? No, we have that too. Shit. I don't know why it's not working okay. Why it's not detecting that. Maybe... See, like... like this could maybe go here I really don't know though I don't know why the vultures wouldn't be colliding correctly it just walks over it and then it sets its ground level, but it doesn't set. I'm curious if we take out this buffer. We don't give the vultures a buffer and maybe that changes things. We're trying to swap its DX there. So I'm saying... Yeah, if... If left collides with this platform, 
as long as our DX is not zero, um, like we're walking. Collide timer gets our DX. And we update our ostriches every frame. Render our ostriches. Where do we... Where do we update our ostriches? Or our vultures? Here. Okay, well... Shoot, man. Not what I wanted. It's just not acceptable. Not acceptable. <laughs> Why does it do that? I think it's safe to say we can delete this now. Now, where are we doing our weird jumping logic as is right now? We're just setting a jumping counter. We're setting a Boolean flag jumping to be equal to true anytime jumping counter threshold is reached, then we give a jumping counter a random number. We decrement jump counter by DT every frame. Um, this to do about this. collides see this dx minus one or, or positive one is kind of what's ifing me out I want to I want to print out if we go to our play state we have a vulture at index one and a vulture at index two so I'm gonna take the platform to vulture and print out our DX. So I'm gonna do vulture DX. Okay. To this, we need our vultures table, index one, which will be a vulture object dot dx, right? Will that work? Negative one. So not negative point one or, you know, Does it do that? Why does it do that? So that's not the problem.
go just collided with the platform. If we go to our play state and we hit this vulture with this just collided boolean. see if that vulture is detecting a collision here. It's not. Not with a platform. So we do our Wrong, man. This isn't coming back true. Self, self collide platform should be false until we're colliding. Should flip it. have every platform though and it really does loop through every platform next platform and pairs collider platforms keep self left collides with platform then if it's dx it's bigger than zero which it is smaller than one or bigger than possibly and collide timer gets initiated to zero and we if we if we just collided collide timer gets true and if our collide timer is bigger than that threshold we swap back we reset our collide timer and switch back to not just collided We are updating our vulture. Yeah, we are. Actually. No, this doesn't make any sense. What is vultures here? Vultures is the table with all the vulture elements. you why it's not working. I guess I'm curious to see if we can print out this. This just collided wasn't getting set to true though.
What is that X we're doing? We're like printing an X on screen or something. State 131. Vulture one. Vulture is one. Just collided. Two string. Why do you not like that? Thirty one. doesn't collide so what logic is it doing it's moving its y position so what logic is it using to move its y position to be grounded you know we move ourself dot y in our vulture class all of our dot y's updating for gravity off the top render it so where do we do where do we set our Y if we're grounded if we're grounded our self height gets 24 Just drink a bug in my water. Oh well. So if we're grounded. Let's see, where am I shifting my Y position to be at the floor of a platform? Where am I doing that? It would be into the collision detection on the multiple platforms, which check grounded. Right here, we would say if bottom collides, and we're setting. So it's like it's tech. It's detecting a bottom collision before the side collision. Maybe. So if we look in our vulture bottom collision, we don't have, well, we do have the buffer. But if we take that out and give us the side buffer, or let's just see if, if that messes stuff up. So we're looking for this to bump into the platform which it did not. So, why would that, you know, part of me wants to stop checking for bottom collision on those. No, you have to, because we need a set. I think the problem is, it triggers its bottom collision before its top collision. Let's see if that's the case. When we call it, we're doing the bottom collision before the side collisions, which let's move that. Let's 
check the sides first, and then do bottom collides, I guess. Would that really make a difference? I mean, I think it would, or it, it could. Still not colliding. Still not colliding. Yeah, still not registering that side collision. And that logic for it is just like right here. You know, it's just this left collides function and this right collides function to determine whether or not we swap our DX. logic comes down to it has to be this collides function or the implementation of this stuff you know it's like it's um, oh you know what shit no does it that vulture should walk and bounce off that platform not reset its Y it shouldn't detect a bottom collision for that top platform it should detect a side collision for that platform and therefore reverse its DX This, this one should be getting called, and then it's saying, hey, our DX gets this, but this actually, I thought I had moved this to end this line of code already, so it only gets set once, because that could actually mess things up too. drive myself crazy. I think uh, I'm just going to have to figure it out later. I'm not figuring it out right now. But we fixed the one bug at least. Um, Sorry that was a lackluster episode, but I programmed, and that's the whole goal. Um, yeah, tomorrow, I'm hoping I'll just be able to start to fix those things and start to really, you know, start to place. We got to get those functions, you know, for all the different uh, possibilities. Like we turn them into an egg, we need to have, do the whole egg thing, do the whole score thing. So yeah, big things coming up.